Hi everyone. Do you have a very strong desire to become an effective English speaker? Are you not finding a better platform to learn English? Then I challenge you. I am willing to teach you English. Are you willing to learn? Do you have desire to learn English? Today I would give you five tips how to improve your English. First of all, do you have desire? How much strong is your desire? Many people have desire, but they stop at certain time. You must begin with the end in mind. If your desire is greater, if your desire turns into a burning desire, if your desire turns into a dream that provokes you to learn every time to speak in English, then I am ready to teach you English. Are you ready to learn it? First of all, stop postponing the things. I will learn it tomorrow or day after tomorrow or the next day. Today is the right time for you to improve. Are you ready? Are you ready? The first tip that I would give you is learning vocabulary. So here most of the learners of English do a mistake. They learn so many words without learning the usage. Every language has got words. But if you know so many words and you don't know, do not know how to use them, then learning language becomes impossible. I may learn thousands of words in a language, but if I don't know how to use, it might help me while I read a text, but it doesn't help me when I want to speak. Let me take an example of a word. I learned a word, a new word, by the name resurrection. You learn the meaning of resurrection. Resurrection means rising from the dead. But if you don't know how to use it, the word becomes useless. Just word remains in your memory. It's not practical English. So learn to use vocabulary. And the best tip I can give you in this is maintain a notebook. Write down not only the new words, but also usage. If you refer to a standard dictionary, there will be a word, there will be the pronunciation, there will be the meanings and antonyms and how to use different ways of definition. So learning that will help you how to use a sentence. So forming a sentence is very, very important. Do not forget it. So do not learn the word alone. Learn along with its relatives and learn to use it in a sentence. Then first step you would become successful learning the vocabulary the second step is listening to english and watching videos of english with subtitles most of the learners of english do a mistake that is they speak a lot and listen very little speaking is good but if you listen, first of all, you get the native accent of the English speakers and you avoid your native accent. Listening helps you to use the sentences in a better way. And watching videos with subtitles, if you do not understand any words, you can find them in the subtitles. So it would give you a lot of word power as well as the sentence formation so listening to English is very important and one common mistake that people do while listening is multitasking I dissuade you to stop multitasking when you listen completely concentrate on it listen once listen twice listen thrice did not select while you listen the best English the best accent because you would that would not interest you Select a normal accent. Select the people who speak English and that you understand. Slowly change your levels. Directly go into something that would not interest you, would become futile, would become useless. So slowly take stepwise, stepwise, stepwise. Listening to English is very, very important to improve your communication skills because you know how to use. Third step, speak to yourself or find a partner 
What are the best ways I improved my English was speaking to myself. I went to a place where there is nobody and started narrating. My timetable or describing about the nature or describing about how to cook something or how to make something, how to prepare something like that. Because it gave me confidence to speak in public. Mirror is your best friend. Speak in the mirror, you would understand how confident you are. And one alert that I give you is, initially, you struggle for words, but do not stop your attempt. Don't forget that Rome isn't built in a day. For a city to become very popular or famous, it takes many days. Same like that, start speaking. Forget about grammar. Take children as your example. When the children learn the language, they do not focus on the grammar, but they speak grammatically correct sentences. How is it possible? Because there are people around them who speak the language. So forget about grammar, start speaking. Even if you speak blunders, slowly they become mistakes and slowly your English becomes effective. So do not wait for a day. I'll speak only when I'm perfect in English. It's never going to happen because I don't think, I don't find anybody to be perfect in English. Everybody learns. Perfection is an idea. I don't find anybody who is perfect in anything because if they're perfect, then the process stops. It should not be the way that is. So every day we are learners. So learn new sentences and try to use them. Speak to yourself. And one more better method in this, find a partner. Select somebody who wants to improve English. See that they're not above you. They're be not better than you in speaking English because it develops certain kind of inferiority complex that you're not speaking better. Select an equal or bit inferior partner that instills confidence in you to speak. But slowly you have to change as you improve. Because improvement must be a goal. Keep writing it. Today I'm going to learn this many. Today I'm going to speak in English. Today I'm using these many sentences. You've already learned the sentences, but if you don't use them in a language, you forget them. So practice must be there. Whatever you learn, the new words or the new phrases or the new sentences, you try to use them in the sentences. Otherwise, speciality of language, only learning without usage will make you forget. So don't do that mistake. So slowly you change your partners. Whoever speaks better English, try to adapt to their way of talking in English or speaking in English that would interest you, that would improve you, that would instill confidence in you to improve. Number four, think in English. What? Thinking in English? How is it possible? Yes, it's possible. While I was teaching, in which language did you understand? Is it in English or is it in your native language and you translated it? So most of the learners of English do is they listen to English and then they translate into their native languages and try to understand. When they want to speak, first of all, they construct sentences in their native language and then translate into English. I think most of you are like that. It's a wrong method. When you start thinking in English, you make better sentences, you make effective sentences. English is different from all other languages, especially all other Indian languages. Formation of sentences in our native languages is completely different from the forming of sentences in English. In our languages, we write the same and we read the same. But in English, it's not like that. Words are written in some way and they are read in another way. There are silent letters. Yeah, Even when it comes to sentences, do not translate them from your native language to English. Start thinking in English. When you think in English, you become an effective English speaker. Your English takes speed. You improve it a lot comparatively when you, tra when you start translating. And you always prefer taking some stories. Yes. You hear about stories, you start narrating the stories to your kids or to somebody who is inferior to you in learning of language. That boosts your vocabulary power, that boosts your confidence, 
that boosts your desire to learn English. So when you start thinking in English, you try to speak like a native English speaker that would create a lot of difference. Step number five. The most important of all, what is that? Practice, practice and practice. As I told you before, a language without practice becomes obsolete. You might know so many words, but if you don't know how to use them, then you forget about the language. Practice what? Practice whatever you watch, practice whatever you listen, practice whatever you want to speak. If you do not practice, you forget a language. Daily take a topic, go in front of a mirror, start speaking. You want to start speaking to yourself, do it. It's the right time. Do not be worried about the mistakes that you make. Everyone makes mistakes. These are common. If you think, I will do it later, 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 postpone it, things would never take place. So start practicing. Practice the new words that you have learned. Practice the new sentences that you have learned. Every day, keep a limit. I'm going to learn this many, then only I'm going to bet. Follow this method. Appreciation, appreciate yourself when you do something. And punish yourself when you don't learn it. Punish in the sense, okay, I will have my lunch only when I learn this. No free lunch. I will have my meals only when I do this. I will buy me this only when I learn this. Then I'll see why the development will not take place. Practice is a crucial step that would enlighten you to learn a language. Practice the most important factor in improvement of English. Are you ready to learn English? I'm ready to teach you. So thank you all and wish you wonderful days ahead to learn English. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.